G'day! I'm so glad you decided to join us here today at Dr. Wonder's workshop. That was a good decision. All of us, we make decisions every day. Some good, some bad. But every decision can affect other people. Yeah, it's true. You'll see. Watch for these signs. Decide. Decide. Affect others. Affect others. Happen. Happen. Enjoy the show. Here you go. There's a special place I know where I always love to go. Come with me, I'll take you there. Doctor Wonder's workshop. Doctor Wonder and his crew have a big surprise for you. They can talk with just their hands. Doctor Wonder's workshop. Come and see. This amazing place for you and me. You'll see things you want to grab in this great inventor's lab. You may never want to leave. Doctor Wonder's workshop. Finally! Yes, this is great! Please, be careful. We don't want to move the table and cause them to fall over. These are called dominoes. Uh, do you like how I've set them up in this neat pattern? Nice, isn't it? I love dominoes, and as I look at the pattern, I realize this is similar to how people make decisions. When you knock down the first, it hits the next and knocks it down until the pattern is finished, which is similar to the decisions we make. We influence other people. You need me to explain it a little more? You don't understand? Okay, let me show you something. Follow me. This room doesn't get much use. It's a special hologram room. But let me tell you why we have not really used it. A while back, we were watching this great show about sheep, those cute little animals that say bah. All of a sudden, all of the sheep escaped from the hologram room through the open door and started roaming all over the office, jumping on tables and running all over the place. The door was just stuck open, and that's how they got out. We fixed it, but make sure to keep the door closed so it's ready to use the next time. I want to use the hologram room now to show you how the different decisions people make can affect other people's decisions. Come on! Come on! Let's pause this. <laughs> it, now, it doesn't look as though Paula is making any decisions, but sure enough, she just made one. Her experiment is really hot because it's been boiling. She needs to set it aside so it can cool quickly. Watch what happens. Start. Okay. Hmm. Pause. Okay, now, Paula has just moved the experiment from the counter to the refrigerator. Do you think that was a good idea? Uh, placing the experiment into the refrigerator will surely help it cool quickly. Apollo didn't plan for what is going to happen next. Watch how the decision will affect the decisions that other people make. And start. Hey, uh, Lisa, is this yours? 
No, no. I wrote my name on my lunch. That's not mine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't really remember, but, but last week I think I put a container of soup in the refrigerator. This must be it. Great. Hmm. Perfect. Hmm, great. Oh, good. It's time for lunch. Yes. Mm, that tastes good. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah, gotta eat. Whoa. This is really hot. Is this yours, Billy? Yeah, it's my lunch. It must be ready. Great. Thanks. Okay, here you go. Hmm. Does my hair really look like that? Ugh. Anyway, did you see what just happened? That didn't work out too well, did it? Uh, Paula decided to put the experiment into the refrigerator. And then what happened? Billy decided to try to eat it for lunch. Doing that could have quite possibly made Billy sick. Or worse. Now let's rewind. And start. Now, let's see what happens if Paula makes a different decision. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, hey, Lisa, is this yours? No, no, I've, I've got mine right here. Oh, it's Paula's. She wrote her name on the side. It's for Paula. And pause. Now, uh, notice that Paula made one small change in her decisions. What was it? She chose to write her name on the container with the experiment before putting it into the refrigerator. That way, when Billy looked inside for something to eat, he noticed Paula's name on the side and realized that he shouldn't eat it because the chemicals would harm him. Everything else should go smoothly now, right? Well, Billy made the decision to put the experiment back. But the next thing he decides will affect other people. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Hi. Have you played dominoes before? These are dominoes. Sometimes it's fun to try. They all fall down at the same time. First, you have to set them up very carefully in a row like this. Now, do you want to see them fall? Do you? Oh, ready? No, no, no. I want to wait and tell more of my story. Some people really like playing with dominoes. 
They make fancy designs that zigzag and curve in and out. It's all different. Then you watch them all fall at the same time. How does it happen, though? You touch just one, and they all fall. How? Oh, that's right. You touch just one, and it hits the next one, and the next, and the next, and the next. One domino hits the other, then the other, then the other. Now, do you really want to see it? Okay, ready? This will be great. Wow, that's so cool. It's the same with me and you. What we do impacts others. For example, I took the scissors out of the drawer to use them, but I forgot to put them back. That impacted my mom when she went to the drawer to get the scissors but couldn't find them. Hmm. When things happen, it impacts others. In the world, we don't live alone. We share things at school, in towns. Our actions impact other people. How do your choices influence other people? How do my choices influence other people? Well. I start out convincing one person, and they influence other people, like to buy a shirt like mine or something like that. Other people could be convinced to do something else, like to blow off work and just sit around playing games or something. If I'm mean, then people around me might think that they can be mean too. But if I'm nice, then my friends might be nice too. Hi again. Okay, I told you before that the decisions Billy makes will affect others around him. Well, let's see how exactly. Time for lunch. Wait,、uh, that's my lunch. Oh,、uh, oh, I'm sorry. Here, you can have it. No, no,、uh, you've already started eating it. Okay, it's fine. You keep it. I, I think I have a container in there. It's the one with the purple lid. Yeah, I, I think it's in there. You can have that for lunch. Would that be all right? Okay. Well, thanks. Is this the one? Yeah, that's the one. Oh! 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 Oh!
Now we're ready. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Dr. Wonder. What is it, Billy? Is this your lunch in the container with the orange lid? Is it yours? Oh, yes. That's my food. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Lisa has her lunch. The orange container is Dr. Wonder's lunch. This one must be mine. <laughs> okay, uh, now, Lisa still does have to smell that horrible odor, true. But the difference now is that Billy has decided not to eat my lunch. No. What happened? Billy asked me first if that was mine. You see? Uh, and next time, I'll show you what happens when nobody has to go out for lunch. Bye for now. Are you guys ready for the story? Uh-huh. The decisions I make are not just for me. They influence other people as well. As told in the Bible story in the book of Numbers, Chapter 13 and 14, God instructed Moses to choose 12 men from each tribe to go out and scout the land for food, to see if the people were strong or weak or what kind of people lived there. In obedience to God, Moses told the 12 leaders what had been instructed, that they should go out and see the conditions of the land. Let me know whether the walls of the city were strong, if the food was plentiful, and if a lot of people live in the city, Moses said. So the men went out to look at the land, gathering information and evidence of what they found to give back to Moses and the people. The land is as you said, they reported, flowing with milk and honey. It was really awesome. There's only one problem. The people who live there are giants. We were so afraid of them that we were shaking in our boots. One of the leaders named Caleb encouraged the people. It's okay. Be strong. God will protect us when we go to take the land. The people started to protest. No way, they said. Why would God promise to bring us out of Egypt for the other country to defeat us? No, thank you. We will go back to Egypt. This made Moses very sad. Caleb and another leader named Joshua tried to encourage the people. Calm down. Think positive. Be strong and bless God. He promised to give this land to the people of Israel. We can do this. But the people continued to rebel and threatened to go back to Egypt. Just then, God came down to talk to Moses. He was very disappointed. Why do these people keep resisting me? Why do they ignore me? I promise to bless them, but they ignore me. Well, I'm going to punish them. They are going to suffer wandering the wilderness for 40 years until they all die. When the people heard this, they were really sad and cried. The next morning, the people decided they wanted to take the land after all. But Moses pleaded them not to. You're ignoring God again after he's already punished you. Don't go. But they ignored Moses' warning and went up anyway to fight the giants. Only this time they were completely destroyed. So it's important to remember that your decisions affect other people. It's always better to be obedient. See this? This is a famous bridge. This is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. It's really beautiful and impressive. But you know the most impressive bridge ever? Jesus Christ. What? You say Jesus is a person, not a bridge? 
Well, that's true, but Jesus is like a bridge. Let me show you how. Imagine God is here and we're here. God is all powerful. He knows everything. He's awesome and amazing. Now imagine we are standing here. We're small and weak and we are not like God. But God wants us to have a relationship. How? We need a bridge. So God sent his own son, Jesus Christ, to bridge the gap between God and people like you and me. Let me explain. Jesus is the God-man. The Spirit of God came to us and took the form of a human. And that is Jesus. He lived the same as all people. He ate like us, talked like us, got tired like us. He walked like us. He even allowed some bad people to kill his body. He died on a cross and they put him in a tomb. But his spirit did not die. Three days later, his spirit came back into his body and his body came to life again. Wow. The point of all this is that God wants a relationship with us. Jesus became the bridge. We can ask God through Jesus to come into our hearts if we believe in him. If you truly believe in Jesus, you'll understand God's love and your relationship with God will become closer and closer together forever and ever and ever. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that great? What might be the one choice you make that influences people? For example, if I go over to a friend's house and ignore the law and jump over someone's fence to get there, I might think it's no big deal, but I still know it was wrong. I'll know I shouldn't have done that, but it may influence my other friends to think it's no big deal, when really they shouldn't.
again. I've got one more example to show you. In the last segments, both decisions made had a negative effect on other people. Now, I'm going to show you how the decisions people make can have a positive influence on others. The first part will show the decisions made. Let's watch. Oh! That is gross! Ooh. Ooh. Clean that out! Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I will. Uh, I think I'll go out for lunch. Uh, hmm, maybe I'll grab a pizza or something. I don't know. You want to go with me? No, no thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hey. I I'm going to grab something to eat for lunch. Do you want anything? Nah. Why are you going out to eat? You could share my lunch. <laughs> really? Sure. Oh, that's great. Oh, I got plenty of food. Yeah. Now go ahead. You see? You didn't know that different decisions, no matter how small, affect other people, either positively or negatively, did you? Today we discussed what it means to make decisions. Maybe you're wondering why decisions are so important. Really, when you make decisions, they affect many other people. When you make the right decisions, it helps other people make right decisions, and so on. Now that makes you feel good because you had a positive influence. That's just like the example here of the dominoes. Yes! Your decisions are like these dominoes. You push one domino, and it falls over and hits the next one, and it keeps going and going until ultimately every domino is hit and they all fall down. So think of them as people affected by your decisions. That means think about your decisions first. Your decisions can influence many people's lives. So think about the effects of your decisions. I'm so happy you came today to Dr. Wonder's workshop. So long for now.